being dragged into the ocean by a shark while she was standing on the back of a boat at a popular tourist spot in Western Australia. The shark grabbed hold of her finger while she was trying to hand feed it. Right behind you. When Melissa Brunning tells people she was bitten by a shark, not everyone believes her. Then she shows them this. One right behind you. <coughs> Mel was standing on the back of a boat, hand feeding fish to a group of tawny nurse sharks, a normally placid species, but with powerful jaws and multiple rows of sharp teeth. Oh, it happened so quickly. All I could really focus on was the fact that my finger is gone. So he, he clamped on it and it felt like it was shredding off the bone. Despite the excruciating pain, Mel's finger wasn't bitten off. The 34-year-old had to be told it was still attached. I've just come up and I've like, I've lost my finger. I couldn't even look at the finger because I thought it was gone. And I thought if I looked at it, I probably would go into shock. Mel was three days into a two week holiday. This is where she was bitten, Dugong Bay near Horizontal Falls. Remote enough that Mel didn't immediately go to hospital, hoping it would heal. But Mel's finger didn't heal and ended up so badly infected that when she got home here to Perth, she needed an operation to have it cleaned out. Next ray she was in the wrong that day. One right behind you. Her main message is don't feed the sharks. It's safer and less painful to admire them from inside a boat. Be mindful.